the last thing we're hitting in section 12.1 in our survey of functions of just two variables um, are spheres. This is something you saw in linear algebra, so it shouldn't be too big of a surprise. What we want to do is just see where the equation comes from and then do a simple example of it. So let's do that. So what's the definition of a sphere? Right, A sphere has a center. Um, we tend to actually just call the center something like ABC or X naught, Y naught, Z naught. But I'm just going to use ABC for now. And it has a radius. Now, if the radius is in lies completely inside of a plane, we use the letter R. When the radius doesn't sit inside of a plane, like as in a sphere, doesn't it can't. What we do is we use the Greek letter rho, which is, after all, their version of R. Okay, so here we go. We're just gonna draw the sphere real quick. I just draw a circle, add a little something that makes it look reasonable. And what I'm going to do is say, hey, look, like ABC. is the center, and what I'm going to do is pick any point on the sphere. This is exactly what we do with the circle. It has coordinates x, y, and z. This way it can stand for uh, any point. And what do we know? We know, because the definition of a sphere is a set of points that are equidistant from the radius. In other words, no matter which point I pick on the sphere, the distance is exactly the same. In fact, the distance is going to be rho. So all I'm going to do is write down the distance, which is going to be the square root of x minus a quantity squared plus y minus b quantity squared plus z minus c quantity squared equals rho. Um, we don't lose anything by squaring both sides and getting rid of that hideous square root. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to write this down as x minus a quantity squared plus y minus b quantity squared plus z minus c quantity squared equals rho squared. And we have our equation of our circle. Oh, sorry, the equation of a sphere. Now, uh, I promised that we were going to do that sample question, so I'm going to erase this here. And remind myself what the question was. The question was, here we go. Find the equation of the sphere whose center is 1, 2, 3 and passes through the point Q minus 1, 4, 7. Does this circle hit the xy plane? Okay, I'm going to go back here. Remember, we're looking for the equation of a, a sphere, so I know I have to have the center. Uh, I know I have to have the radius. So I know I'm starting like this. It told me the center was 1, 2, 3, so this, this gets very much simpler real quickly. y minus 2 quantity squared plus z minus 3 quantity squared, and that's rho squared. We're just supposed to figure out rho squared, but they did tell us that the point minus 1, 4, 7, let's just put this down here so I have it something to look at, is on the circle. That means when I put minus 1 in for x and 4 in for y and 7 in for z, it's supposed to work. So let's do that, right? When I put in uh, minus 1 for x, what I'm going to get here is 2 squared, that's 4. When I put in 4 for y, I get minus 2 quantity squared, so that's also a 4. When I put in 7 for z, I get 7 minus 4, that's going to be 16. And so I get 16. 4 plus 4 plus 16 equals rho squared, so 24. Uh, equals rho squared, and we can at least write down the equation um, with all the square roots at the moment, so I'm happy about that. I'm just going to write down x minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared plus z minus 3 quantity squared equals 24. 
and I just want to go back and review the question. The question was, does it hit the xz plane? The xz plane, well the equation of the xz plane is y equals zero. All right. Um, so let's, let's do this here, uh, the xz plane. Let's just write this down as a little reminder. Nothing formal here, but the equation of the xz plane is y equals zero. So what I'm going to do is plug in y equals zero and see what I get. I'm going to get x minus one squared uh, plus minus two squared, that's plus four, plus z minus three squared equals 24. Let's get the throw the four on the other side and I'm going to get x minus one squared plus z minus three squared equals 20. And what does that mean? That means when I use the y equals zero as a chop, what I get is the circle. So this is a piece of a sphere. It's a vertical piece of a sphere. So I chop like this and I get x minus one squared plus z minus three squared equals 20. So not only does it hit the xz plane, it hits the xz plane in an infinite number of points, um, exactly that circle.